Can I? Uh, my, my mic uh, went off when uh, you, did, you destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think, uh, you know, Nana himself hit it right on the nail. In fact, I think that's the only thing I, I, I probably will agree with you this morning. Yeah, because you've closed your mind. And, to and, and uh, it, it's, you know, when the minister came with all this, mm. precisely the same questions we were asking him. That look, how much work have you done on all these things that you are going to, you, you, you want to ban? What data do you have in terms of how much of this are we producing here and how much of this is coming from outside? And where is the capacity if we should, you know, close the doors in bringing these things in? How are we going to survive in terms of prices and all that? Because you know these things are going to lead into, you know, and, and rightly, as, is this a right policy with about a month to Christmas? You're going to create a lot of problems. So, Minister, let's take our time, go through this, provide us a data on where we stand on all this so that we can fashion our proper ally, you know, that will be scaling up local production and be shutting the door, you know. There are issues about incentives that we have talked about here. There are subsidies that are being given to other markets for people to bring things here. What can we do, even if we shall allow certain things to come in? What can you do to be able to compete? Mm. If they get these subsidies and are able to sell to us here at those ridiculous prices, they are presumably still making profit. Yeah, so, so, so what would be your alternative? So uh, the question of dumping. You, you impose taxes, heftier taxes, so they can't bring them in? First and foremost, if you are producing enough for the domestic market, then that's when you are going to be able to shut these people out. It's not about imposing higher taxes. and They're always going to find a way to do these things. You see, giving a room in the policy for certain things to operate mm. basically leads to corruption. And that's exactly what we are trying to do here at the moment where you have this. I am totally opposed to this permit that is being given, you know, and the minister becomes a super minister mm. in charge of all this. If he doesn't give it to you and you want to appeal, you have to come back to him. Look at the structure of the committee that has been set up. And doesn't it surprise you that it doesn't include Guta? <laughs> Guta, the principal stakeholder. No, they are not. The in this, this is the manufacturers. What well, we are talking about? We are, the they are the they, ones. They have. They have to be there, there, but they are yes. not the principal stakeholders. Well, they, they trade. Yeah, they so trade. If the, if the so product is the the in the we are talking about trading no, matters. Yeah, they, 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 they trade. If the product is made available, mm. they let, don't care where it is coming from. Let, Once they have let, it, let, 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 me, let me make your point. Uh, so, I don't think what you're saying will fly. I'm making my point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so basically, even to an extent, probably you will have to invite the AGI. You know, if you want to make this a broad-based mm. stand. Mm. You know, because then you have the manufacturers, you have the traders in. Because at the end of the day, you don't even want the kind of... You think, you think they should come in the form of an act where it will generate broader... Uh, consultation and participation. Well, it should come in a form of practical, practical, sensible policy. I'm saying because it's come in the airline. But, yeah. but, the, but the, AGI, closes, the AGI, the AGI, you mentioned the AGI, the yeah. AGI is a member. Oh, the AGI is there. Yes. But the Guta is not Ghana there. I don't think you mentioned industries. Guta is yeah. not there. Uh, there's because a Ghana National Chamber I, of Commerce and Industry. No Guta I, is there. I, I remember, Guta is not there. I remember specifically when having a meeting with a minister mentioning Guta. But I won't go into... into oh, so you had meetings there. with the minister on this? Yes, yes. Uh, we were just on, on, on the corridor. When he oh, was to, I thought you... you yeah, there, were, there was earlier meetings with leadership. But when he was coming to lay this, do you, we called do you, him. Do you think if it comes from an act, it would ensure well, then broader... Then we, we the, have the, the ally, we have the ally is but, being passed on the strength of an act, a 1995 uh, import act. Which says what? That, that's the, what, what gives the minister the power to make LIs, mm. to regulate imports. So it, it, can we amend the act to include many of these things? Because I'm looking at a situation where the consultation will be broader. The stakeholder participation will be enhanced. Because the problem now is that it seems stakeholder participation has not been broad enough. There's lack of information. They are claiming there's yeah. lack of information. 
In fact, I had one person. So you can do so without so, so, I, had, so, I had one so, person. So, and so, beverages yeah. industry was so, saying, so, no, no, at this the, is wicked. At the, at the, at the they are not yeah, the, soft drinks. If, if, you can, yeah. if you let me have my time. All right. At the end of the day. Having a discussion. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, all right. I will, I will just make my point without <laughs> going back into what saying. You know, at the end of the day, all these things that we are, we are talking about makes this ally a premature. That the timing is not actually good for this. We don't know. We agree the principle, everything. But it has to be done in a way that will be sustainable. But at the moment, as it is, if we present this in 21 days, since it's an ally, I mean, we can look at this act thing you are talking about. Since it's an ally, we cannot have the input that really needs to go into this for this to be sustainable. And the corruption, the endemic corruption, that will come out of this. Nobody will be able to control it. It's not a matter of KT Hammond or NPP being in government. If this thing is put out there for any government in the future, for any minister who will get this superpower powers to be able to do the things that you know we are proposing here, then that will become a challenge. Rent then that, this is an opportunity that leads straight into 24-hour economy. Because for us to be able to move from 1% mm. of poetry... So you agree it is not to, new. ...to that where we should get to... It's not new. It's, well, it's forget about it. That. It's newness and all that. We want you on board. We want Baumia uh, on board uh, to uh, understand uh, exactly what this... Baumia, Baumia, Baumia is there. Let, let, let me go to... It's already doing, let me go it's already to, doing okay, things that it has. Yes. And it has can I finish on this, yeah. please? All these things that we have here, straight away, you see the opportunity of why we need to increase manufacturing or producing of these things. These are import substitutions. So all the things that we have here, if we are producing them here in Ghana, we are going to increase working hours. We will have more factories or whatever they, they produce this thing. We will have more people working. Mm. This but, is what we're looking at. Because the, 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 Dr. Tia Champong. This is rather where Dr. Tia Champong. Right. 